All right, guys, so welcome back to another video. So I got this 24-pack uh, Trickson Distant Balls, and I got a great deal on it. I got I paid $20 for this, for the whole 24-pack. And so what I want to do this morning, I'm going to do a little product review. I'm going to compare them to the uh, Pro B1X. Stay tuned. Okay, so I did take them out to the course, and as far as, far as the potting, I have to be honest, I didn't really mind it. I know they feel a little uh, harder than the Pro B1, but for, for my type of potting, this, uh, when I took it out to the course, I don't really, I mean, I don't really mind. It's not, um, it's a little tougher, but I would say that it's not, uh, it doesn't bother me. So I kind of like it like this. It's not, a, it's not a big issue for me. Okay, so as far as the chipping, uh, well, in the uh, putting, I didn't really mind it. On the chipping, I did notice it at the course that it was a little tough when it landed. Uh, the restriction distance was a little, I didn't think I got enough check, in my opinion. Uh, I can test it at home as well, but. So like for instance, right here, this is the restriction. I felt like, uh, like it just goes a little bit too much. It just, it doesn't land softly. So let me get a little shorter like that. Whereas this one right here is the Pro B1. It feels like uh, it lands a little more soft. Even if it was long like that, it still, I feel like it's, uh, it checks a little more. So, and I did notice that in the course. So not only here, and that kind of bothered me just a little bit because uh, when I'm playing like short, short chips around the green, I didn't get enough check and then I end up passing the, the hole. And normally um, I don't really do that. I, um, I get a lot of check with uh, when I play the Bridgestones or the Pro B1. So I would say uh, the putting, I don't think, I mean, I could get used to it. It's not a big deal, but the chipping for me, you know, if you're planning to buy this ball, you may notice that, so. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna test out the distance. Uh, I guess, you know, friction distance is supposed to be pretty good. So I did notice on the course when I played that uh, I did hit some, some shots that were a little long, but I don't know if it was my swing on that day or the distance on the friction ball. So we'll find out today. Um, I got my seven iron, I got the Mibo Plus. Seven iron normally 145 to 155, maybe 150. Um, so anything more than 150 to me will be uh, pretty good. So let's see. Okay, that was 150. That was pretty good. I didn't even feel uh, that I did, that I put too much into it. So. One forty nine, very consistent. A little bit to the left. I think I pulled this one a little. Yeah, one fifty four. Uh, I would say yeah, it's for me that's pretty good, because I normally can hit like from one forty five to one uh, fifty five. So this is in the higher end, definitely. Okay, let me just take a few more. And this is the thing, when you play with new balls, they're always gonna go more, so. I'm playing with some old balls now, and they always go like 140, 145, so. One fifty one, very consistent. One fifty two, that is very consistent, slight little draw. That's what I like to play. Yeah, this was in hit very well. 139. One fifty-three, little draw. Okay, so that was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that distance. Uh, it feels pretty good. I did test it at the course and I didn't have any problem with the feel. Uh, the only problem for me is just around the greens, that's it. But the, actually the distance is pretty good for me. Uh, it was an average, I think 150. Uh, I think I only hit one missed shot that it was 139 and the dispersion was good. Uh, let's, test, let's compare it to the Pro B1 now and see.
it does feel a little softer i have to say the probe ones uh i think about the, the distance is it's about the same i would say Okay, so with the probably one I would say just slightly softer feel uh, the distance is about the same I don't think there's a it's a huge difference. I wouldn't notice it uh, If you were to put it down together, I don't think it'd be hard for me to notice it, but uh, It is slightly softer. I'll have to say Maybe you can notice it more with the uh, with your like pitching wedge and eight iron, but uh, definitely uh, I would say for that price uh, if you're hitting uh, irons, there's no difference. So I'm gonna try the driver now to see. Now with my driver, I can hit about 200 yards, uh, max of 210 to 20, rarely, though maybe at the course. So I'll start with the restrictions. Two thirteen. Little little pull, but. I normally play that shot, so 91 miles an hour, that's not bad. Two fourteen, this was a little pulled, yeah, so feel is okay. It's not bad. Distance I would say maybe normally at home I hit a little a little maybe 200 210 so 214 will be a little higher than I normally hit I would expect maybe at the course be a little longer okay this one I kind of hit a little slice um, 198 215 so yeah, that's pretty good for me Especially at home, 215 is pretty good. Especially pretty good, 213. Overall, I would say, yeah, that's probably, probably at the course, I would say 220 maybe. I can already tell you that a little more I think you, you could get with this ball. So probably like a max of 10 yards for me. So obviously at the course, I normally carry just a little more on the environment or actually in the simulator, I can get a little more too because you kind of get into the uh, feeling of being on the course. So uh, not bad guys, this ball is not bad. I'll compare it to the Pro ones now. Two six, that's pretty good. I have to say uh, it, it did feel a little better. Okay, I kind of pulled that one, 208. Okay, so I do have to say that the probably one does feel better on strike, especially when you strike it off the on the sweet spot compared to the extraction, even if you strike it on the sweet spot. It does feel better probably one, but uh, I'm seeing that the, uh, the section gives you uh, maybe 10 yards more. So let me just take a few more shots and see if that's true. Okay, so I pulled that one, but the other ones that I pulled with the with restriction, it gave me more distance anyway, so seven yards more, I would say. Let's see if I can get a good one. Okay, this was a little better. Little draw, two, twelve, so. Okay, guys, so there we have it, the two balls, uh, the restriction distance and the uh, Pro-V1. Uh, definitely the Pro-V1 feels better. Uh, on all aspects, um, but um, I have to be honest. On the as far as the distance, I think this one goes a little more. I mean, I did try it, and I, I, about seven yards more because uh, it gave me just a little longer on the driver. And on the seven iron, I don't know if I noticed that, but playing at the course, I did notice that with my irons were a little longer. So I'm assuming that it was the ball. So it's a I mean, a compromise you have to make. I think you know. Especially for me, the only problem with this ball would be on the chipping. Because I think uh, being a little bit hard is not going to check. So, you know, I mean, if you hit longer, but if you can't get it closer to the hole, it might not be worth it, I would say. But definitely, if you're looking into distance, uh, I would say this one will give you 
some extra yards in my opinion seven to ten yards extra so anyway so that was my review for the uh, Strixon distance at a great price so to me yeah I would recommend it I think you know uh, obviously you know I lose a lot of balls so I can't just always play my probably ones or my uh, Bridgestones because obviously they um, they cost a lot more so definitely I can gain with these Strixons I got a 24 pack you can get a great deal I'll leave a link down down below on the Amazon uh, the Amazon link and um, hope you enjoyed the review guys thanks for watching until next time